Dr. Branstein. Oh, hello, Marshall. This is a surprise. You um just had a regular appointment on, let me see, Monday. And, well, you're not due again until next... Next Monday. I know. I know. But I have something wonderful to tell you. And it can't wait. Oh, well, okay. I, I have a minute until my next appointment. And I, uh, listen, I know that being shut in for this virus thing has been difficult for you. Are you having a better day? <laughs> better than better. This is one of my favorite shorts from this series. Uh, it brings back a recurring character throughout. I think he's sort of the protagonist of the entire series. And here we get to see him play off of his therapist um, in a way that feels very true to what we've all experienced during lockdown. Um, this idea of just falling in love with the fantasy of escaping with someone or just escaping our situation in general. Um, I absolutely loved the therapist. I think she's one of the best uh, performers in this whole series. And what she was able to do with a very funny role uh, was hilarious. And she took it in such fun directions. She's able to play this sort of straight and narrow by the book therapist and then elevate it into this insane character meant to drive away someone who has feelings for her um and she did it in a way that was really effortless and very very funny um she was just hilarious and i wish that she was in this series more but this is a really really funny short this is a really funny Phil, what a crazy twist going back and forth, and you don't really know what's real and who she actually is. It's really funny, and seeing his reactions throughout the the flick, it, it's really funny. And um, yeah, just the therapist's over Zoom dynamic is is always just a very funny thing to kind of look into and delve into and I, I really love the um when he like gets up out of the out of his seat and really like uses the space behind him i think that's a fun way to make the zoom movie kind of more engaging when there's just more stuff going on rather than just sitting and, and talking back and forth um it's yeah. a super funny and clever story. Um, I really enjoyed the progression of the story. You know, seeing him basically just describe a therapist's job and being like, yeah, that's why I'm in love with you. I thought that was super funny. And then um, her going into this kind of character and then him being completely put off and kind of her kind of outsmarting him into realizing um, that he does love his wife. I thought that was super funny. And you know, there was, you know, distinct characterization between the two characters. And I thought it was just an interesting, you know, snapshot into the pandemic, um, especially with, you know, Zoom therapy being something that a lot of people can relate to. And I just thought it was, you know, a really funny story and a great use of the Zoom format. So good job. I thought this was really fun. Uh, doing online therapy, I know, has been a thing that has emerged a lot more in the pandemic and um especially with like the just like the spread of zoom and the the spread of the knowledge how to use zoom skype facetime all these kind of google hangouts like all these kind of online video services um as everyone just kind of gotten more educated on how to use them um more things like you know, distanced therapy or video therapy um, became way more available and way more popular. So I thought that, you know, having that as like the base was really interesting. And just because I think that it's been widely talked about that mental health and in general, having to shelter at home and all of these things did like really impact people in such a way that, you know, turning that into like, a comedy and a respite for everybody I think is just a great idea and then to have the therapist like already have like the martini glass and like the the mints ready because she dealt with it before I thought was just like a really fun um 
like added thing to it real look at one of the things that one of the consequences of uh this pandemic and i think it's honestly the influx of therapy uh it was a very hard time for everyone and i really would not be surprised if uh statistics show that cases of depression definitely rose during uh the lockdown and one of the things that i'm definitely sure a lot of therapists have gone through and must be a terrifying uh situation because i'm not even sure what the actual response is when this happens is the fact that there are going to be times where your patients are going to fall for you (laughs) uh and that's mainly because of the fact that uh it's your job to help them feel better and so they connect those positive feelings to you and it it gets all messy uh but i did like the message that at the end of the day you don't really know them you don't know what their life is like outside of uh outside of work because that's all it is for them it's work uh so yeah, I, I think it was very creative that she scared him out of his feelings for her, but at the same time, very risky because there was an equal gamble that that would have failed horribly, and that would have and it could have worsened the situation. Um, but yeah, I definitely liked the message that this one had this was great again this idea of these characters coming back i loved seeing donnie most again um and then this time with the addition of gail grady as his therapist really enjoyed that um loving the through lines here it's really great um just really enjoying it i'm also enjoying how now at the end um even though the call is hung up they're hanging out on zoom for a second and we get to see what they're going through even after the zoom call is over which i'm really enjoying as well that's really fun um at the end there um i think it's happened the last two zoom calls so pretty fun um again acting was great the writing was great i mean i just you know i'm also liking the locations i'm assuming that's just their homes but they're really great um really really enjoying this it's it's a lot of fun and um the addition of gail grady was pretty great this time around so congratulations it's great <laughs>